Welcome to another video. So in this video guys, I'll just be sharing with you uh, my currency ranking spreadsheet uh, just as a way of saying thank you for an appre showing appreciation for you guys actually supporting my channel, uh, subscribing, liking my videos and leaving comments here and there. Uh, I just wanna say I'm truly thankful for that and I appreciate you guys. So just wanted to share my currency ranking spreadsheet. So here's a, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of it so this currency ranking sheet is based on eight different economic indicators mainly interest rates gdp manufacturing pmi inflation core inflation inflation rates month over month unemployment rate uh, and then lastly consumer confidence right so it's based on ranking all eight of these economic uh, indicators for the different economies right so essentially it is based on if I go to my spreadsheet, so it is based on my spreadsheet, right? So it is based on this spreadsheet, as you can see, where we have interest rates, GDP, and, and all of all of the other economic indicators. So I use this as a quick uh, guide, as a quick reference. So instead of going through the whole spreadsheet, I know that if I come here, I'll get an up-to-date view of what is currently happening from the economic data point side of things, right? So it's not from central banks but it's from the data what are the numbers telling me right so if you're gonna incorporate this with what the central banks are telling you and both of these things are pointing in the same direction then you now have a strong uh, trade idea that could be potentially very very profitable right so how it works is you're just gonna pair a, a green currency which is a strong currency against a red currency which is a weaker currency and you look to trade that based on based on that understanding right and then of course this is a medium to long term uh, direction because remember this is based on fundamental not sentiment and you're gonna also have the potential of earning a positive interest or a positive swap if you hold the positions in that direction right of course take into account what is the current interest rates for each economy but this is just to give you a quick snapshot of the direction based on the economic data right so if for example as you can see don't mind the numbers because that is based on the calculation that i use to when i'm looking at all those different economic data points and then calculating which one ranks first which one ranks second and then eventually it gives me a total uh, so essentially as you can see green we can see that's a strong buy on mexico the dollar it's just a buy a weak buy we have uh, australia and new zealand and then neutral stance we have gbp of which it is neutral uh, and then on the week on a week sell we have canada we have uh, china we have south african rand then on a sell i'd say we have G jpy and then on a strong sell we have a chf as well as euro right so that is what so so now you have an idea that okay if i'm looking to sell euro usd as an example then it would it would be beneficial to do that because from an economic data standpoint the euro economy is weaker than the u.s economy looking at interest rates gdp inflation unemployment and all of those factors the dollar is in a better position than the euro right so this is how you're gonna use it so just look at it at a quick glance and then of course you look at the scale here the measuring if it's a weak cell or a strong cell and then you look for your your confirmation or your entry from a technical anal analysis standpoint right and then of course you need to keep up to date with what is happening from a fundamental standpoint like today we had uh we had a uh, united states uh inflation data which actually came in greater than what was what was expected so it did not drop it actually increased from what was expected right so that means that that will push the prospect of interest rate cuts from the united states central bank or the fed further into the future so it does not bring them closer but it pushes them further into the future and that is positive for the dollar because remember if interest rates are getting cut that means that value is moving out of the dollar but if interest rates cuts are being pushed further into the future it strengthens the, the dollar and it weakens uh, risk assets by risk assets i mean your nasdaq your indices essentially nasdaq us 30 s p 500 so if you had a quick snapshot of this and you knew that euro was a very strong sell the dollar was a strong buy then it would have been easier for you to actually take direction like i have 
on this euro usd trade right because i knew i once i got the data and i saw that inflation actually came in greater than what was expected i went short on euro usd as you can see here right so that is how that's that 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 actual uh spreadsheet will help you just to have a quick glance of the of the trade direction based on the economic data and then of course also focus on central banks what is the european central bank saying what is the federal reserve saying right and then if there's also that divergence there because you want divergence from the data you want divergence from the central banks uh, moving in opposite directions then you know that there's a good trade idea there that because there's a strong trend that will develop right and in this case here we understand that euro has interest rates of 4.35 sorry 4.4.5 percent whereas uh, the dollar has uh, interest rates of 5.5 um, 5 percent so in that case what does it mean it means that we're gonna be getting a positive interest payment or a positive swap because i'm definitely holding this trade into tomorrow so i'll definitely be getting paid some interest today right so this is just to give you guys a quick understanding of how i actually use uh this spreadsheet that i'm giving you guys access to and if you want to have access to it obviously just click on the first link in the description and to show you guys that you're not gonna give me anything as you can see here under share if i click on share it says public on the web so anyone on the internet with the link can open right so just click on the first link in the description you don't have to give me your email or anything nothing i don't need anything from you it's just to, it's just a way of me saying thank you for supporting my channel and for actually leaving great and positive comments uh, and some of you even messaging me on the side and also leaving positive comments and reviews i just want to say thank you for that right and then lastly if we look at forex sentiment what we what we looked at in our last video in terms of our trade management tool uh if we, if we look at euro usd to see if whether do we actually have more retail traders actually buying the euro or are they selling the euro because remember majority of retail traders are generally wrong so in this case we have 61 percent of retail traders are actually long and 39 percent are actually short and remember what i said last time i said my minimum threshold is 60 so once we have 60 and above in a specific direction long or short then i anticipate that the trade that the, the, the direction will continue in that in that in that phase until there is a shift or there is a change so in this case it supports me selling euro usd because we can see more retail traders are actually buying uh, euro usd so i do expect that price might continue pushing lower in the days to come right so that is just what i wanted to share with you guys and just to give you guys access uh to my spreadsheet uh so that you can use it to your advantage and then you can also be able to catch the same trades as i do because you'll know the direction the same way that i do because this is also what i use for the direction right so just wanted to share that with you guys and also one more time thank you thank you thank you for supporting my channel and of course if you like the videos that i share leave a comment like the videos subscribe to my channel if you haven't and don't mind you can even share the channel it's not a problem uh you can definitely share my channel and of course don't forget to turn on the notification bells so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So until the next video, cheers guys.